Hi guys, it's Inventor Andy, and today we're going to be looking at our first tutorial for the Atmel Sam D21 Explained Pro Board. So today we're going to be doing the kind of hello world of hardware programming, which is the good old fashioned blinking LED. So to get started, if you open up your browser and go to start.atmel.com. So this is uh, a great tool that Atmel have come up with for configuring hardware projects on their devices. Um, it's got a bunch of pre-written drivers and bare bones code that you can pull into your project uh, to get you started. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to create new project. And then next up is the hardware device selection page. So if you make sure show only boards is selected, otherwise you get every single processor on there. Uh, go to the SAM D21 Explained Pro Board and then let's go create new project. So this is pulling in all the uh, bare bones code to get the board running. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to rename this to something a bit more memorable. So if we click on my project and then we're going to go rename component and then let's change this to blinky LED okay now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a little delay driver to this so this will help us delay between switching the LED on and off so if we go to add software component and click on drivers can see they've got a bunch of different drivers which we'll explore in later tutorials but if we click on the delay driver and click the add button and click add components so again let's rename this you don't necessarily have to rename it but I find it makes things a little bit nicer when you're developing things so let's just get rid of that zero one and just call it delay Now, next up, we're going to go to pin mux, which is the list of the pins that are available on the microcontroller. Now, the Explain Pro board already has an LED built into it called LED0, which you can configure to use yourself as part of your programming. So, if we scroll down here, we're going to find LED0. There we go. Yellow LED0. So this is the user configurable LED pin. So let's call this Blink LED. And we're going to set the pin mode to digital output. So that means we can control when the pin sends out a voltage or stops that voltage. Now the initial level is low, so we want the LED to be switched off. And that's it for our first project. So what we're going to do is we're going to export the project. Make sure Atmel Studio is selected. Let's call this 01 Blinky LED. And then click Download Pack. Let's save that tutorial project okay so once that's downloaded click on it and this will open Atmel Studio and it will pull in all the code that you've just configured in the Atmel start project let's give that a minute okay so let's call this O1 Blinky LED Make sure you've saved it somewhere you can remember. Click OK. So the great thing about the Atmel Start projects is they pre-configure all your clock settings, uh, all of the driver initialization, everything you need to create a basic project so you're not having to worry about the low level stuff. If we go to main.c, that's our main program. Now as you can see they've created a 
bare bones function for the application here. So we've got at mail start in it, which as you can see that initializes the microcontroller, the drivers and any middleware. And then straight after we've got our application code. So this is the infinite loop. Obviously as you know with hardware programming you never actually return that main function or you shouldn't do anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to toggle the LED pin. So part of the code that's included with these at mail start projects is functions to toggle pins on and off. So we're going to go GPIO toggle pin level. Now you can either use toggle pin level or set pin level. Set pin level sets it to a specific value so on or off whereas toggle will just alternate between what the pin is currently and what the opposite state of that pin is. So we'll use toggle pin level for now. Now we need the name of the pin which we named earlier as blink LED. Okay and then the next bit is to add a little delay there. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add a little delay between toggling the pin on or off so that we can actually see the LED flashing. If you didn't put the delay in there it would run through the loop too quickly and you wouldn't actually see any changes. So I'm going to do delay MS, so that's delay microseconds. Now let's give that a value of 1024. So although there's actually a thousand milliseconds in a second, the clock frequency is a multiple of 1024, so I actually find that using 1024 gives it a more accurate cycle. So there we go, that's a basic blinking LED program written. Quickly save that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to press F7 to build it, make sure we've got no errors. Okay, as we can see, everything's succeeded and there's nothing that's been failed or skipped. So the next thing is we're going to plug in our board and test the program. Okay, so we're going to take our Atmel D21 Explained Pro Board and we're going to plug this into the laptop so that we can program it now. So you'll notice that there's actually two micro USB ports on this board. We've got target USB on this side and debug USB on this side. So what we want to do is we want to use the debug USB port because the target USB port is for programming USB applications. So if we get our micro USB cable and plug that in there and then the other end into the laptop. Okay, so once our board is plugged in, what will come up in Atmos Studio is a page like this. So it's recognized the board, and the next stage now is to program it. So if we click on here, it might say none on for the programming tool. So what you want to do is you want to select EDBG MSD, which is the embedded debugging tool on the Explain Pro board. Uh, the interface is SWD. So if we save that and then go ahead and program it. And as you can see, the LED there is blinking on and off about every second or so. So there we have it the first program example for the Atmel D21 Explain Pro Board. Hi guys, it's Inventor Andy here. Thank you for watching my video. If you like the video, please click like, please subscribe to my channel, and please feel free to add any comments if you've got any suggestions for tutorials or videos that I can do. Thanks very much, guys.